I'm kind of, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I set the house on fire. In the true pacifist ending, uh, again, of course I spared and died, and so now we're like friends and stuff, and I'm in her house, because I didn't do that in the last one, because I didn't know you could. So what's, so what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me, and if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Oh, crap, we have to do this again. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. What the heck is going on? I can't, I can't even move. Even if I failed to befriend you, that's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all, on, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah. Show me what you've got. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Do your worst. Undyne is letting you make the first attack. What's the matter? What the hell? I, I don't actually know what that said, but... I don't actually know what that said. <laughs> Spare. Come on already! It's getting hot in here! She's getting triggered right now. I'm not gonna spare. I'm not gonna attack. Is she ever? Do I have to attack? No, I'm not going to attack. <laughs> Too bad, Undyne. I'm not going to attack. I'm gonna spare you. You should. I should talk to her. Fake attack. Oh, that's fine. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. One damage. Yep, that's the best you can manage. Even attacking me at full force, you can't muster to intent to hurt me. Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid, uh, saccharine. I don't even understand the language in this game. It's just. Is this gibberish? The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know, you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. Oh, I thought it ended for a second. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the heck out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Fuhaha. <laughs> now, let's get the heck out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again some t another time, but uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with the virus, so if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give the virus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you, too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, this fish is crying. The fish is crying. Sounds like only fire lives here now. Well, that does it for the Undertale mini, Becoming Undyne's Friend. I, I wish I could do a little more of that, but I just, like, once the house caught on fire, I immediately said, okay, I gotta make at least a YouTube video that's a little small on this. I just wanted to show you guys, since now I'm doing True Pacifist. I didn't think I was gonna show it because, you know, 
it's pretty much the same thing except sparing everyone. I am gonna do a run, a rerun of the genocide ending though, so you guys get to see that eventually. But for now, please like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.